Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the WGU Bachelors of Science in IT General. And if you don't know what WGU is, it's basically just an online accredited college where you pay for six months at a time and you're allowed to complete as many courses as you want in that time period. I won't talk about WGU itself too much in this video because I have like so many other videos talking about it. But this particular video is going to be covering the BS in IT General degree. I'm making this video in response to a request from a user and they just said, uh, I wanted to know if you you could make a video or guide on that specific degree like you did for computer science, maybe even a spreadsheet. So yeah, this is that's where this video is coming from. It's just going to be an ultimate guide for the BS and IT general degree. And the things that we're going to cover in this video are we're going to talk about how difficult the general IT degree is relative to the other IT specializations. We're going to talk about why you might choose this particular degree over the other specializations. I'm going to talk about what you might consider doing before you actually enroll in the program. We're going to cover the different course types that are in the IT general degree. We're going to look at some of the certs that are included in this degree, and then we're going to wrap things up. So if you're excited to go to WG or even like considering it, or you think this might be entertaining, go ahead and keep on watching, smash the like button, and let's get started. And before we start, just a disclaimer, I have some degrees from WG. I have the BSN IT degree, like the actual degree we're going to talk about today, but I, I got it like a, a while ago, like in 2013. And since then, I've gotten a couple other degrees, like the ComSci degree and the Master's of Science and Cyber degree. So I just want to say, like it's been a while since I've gotten the, the IT degree. Also, one more disclaimer for the stuff I'm talking about in this video. I'm going to be talking about potentially transferring in courses from study.com. So before you like do any of that, just make sure you're working with a WGU enrollment counselor just to make sure you're squared away and you don't like do any work that's not necessary. But yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to use a couple different spreadsheets in this video to kind of explain the different points I want to talk about. This spreadsheet is from another video I made where I kind of organized the WGU IT degrees from most most difficult to easiest. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is like how difficult is the IT general degree compared to the other ones. And I'll kind of give my justification for it. So basically, I made this spreadsheet a couple of days ago for a different video, and I ranked the degrees from most difficult to easiest, uh, most difficult being on the far left, starting with computer science, and then the easiest being on the right, ending with the IT management degree. And basically, these red things here, these are these are just classes within that degree, not necessarily third party certs, but just the classes in that degree, which make that degree particularly difficult. And then these kind of blue ones under all of these, the blue ones are just the third party certificates, that is the certificates that you need to pass in order to pass any given class for any any given degree. So basically, for each degree, I kind of pulled out the third party certs, and then I pulled out any of the classes that I think are difficult. And I kind of excluded the rest of the classes down down here in gray. So for example, computer science has ITIL and project plus for the certs, and, and it has these classes, which are particularly difficult. And you can kind of see computer science, obviously, it's hard because there's a lot of math in conceptually difficult things. Software dev, pretty much the same, but it's kind of more mild to a degree. And then getting into like network operations security, this one's quite difficult because CCNA is very hard. IT general, I ranked it like the third most easiest to kind of get to the point. Basically, my reasoning behind this is usually the more third party certs there are in a degree, the more difficult it is because the third party certs, that is the exams you have to take with outside vendors are typically more difficult than the actual classes that WGU provides. And the IT general, degree, not only it has like fewer of these than some of the other degrees, I would say they're on average, they're easier than a lot of the other third party certs that are included in these other degrees here, like CCNA, AWS, SIPs, SysOps, pretty difficult, CCSP, pretty difficult, SysOps, again, like pretty difficult. And there's a whole bunch of CompTIAs here. ITIL is notoriously like fairly easy. And then I would say Linux and Cloud pr Practitioner are pretty average. When I say these are easy, these are, they're not like easy, easy, like third party certs in general are kind of challenging. I'm just speaking like a relative to like CCSP, CCNA and stuff. So these are still challenging, but you know, it's it's going to be easier than what you see over here, to be honest, like easier than calculus and whatnot. On top of that, there's just not that many third party certs in here. And then in lieu of some of the third party certs, the IT general degree tends to have like more generalized classes. In summary, you know, the BSIT relative to the other IT degrees is probably the third easiest degree overall. And then getting into why you might choose the IT general degree over the other degrees 
I would say it's a, a pretty good choice if you're not exactly sure like what area of IT you want to go into, but at the same time, you kind of want to get some certificates under your belt as well and have them essentially paid for by WGU and included in your tuition. Another route I tend to recommend people to do, like if they don't really know what they want to go into, but they want to finish like absolutely as fast as possible, I typically tell people to go with like the IT management degree just because it, it doesn't really have any third party certs in it. And I'm sure it has like some, you know, semi challenging classes, but I wouldn't say like any of the classes are like harder than even like sysops or CCSP, definitely not CCNA or anything like in here. I would say this degree, like the IT management degree is like relatively easy compared to the other ones. And so if you don't care about certs, or for example, you want to get your own certs afterwards, but maybe not necessarily any of these, I might recommend you go with, you know, IT management. But if you just if you want to get into IT, or even possibly security, and you're just like not really sure, I would recommend like going with with this degree because it's not that it's not that difficult compared to the other ones. And you'll get a nice rounded resume with a few certs under your belt. So like after you graduate, you'll be in like a, a good position to either start applying for jobs, or you'll have like some kind of idea of like what you like and what you don't like since you've been exposed to like a couple different disciplines inside of this degree. So getting on to what I think you might want to do before you get enrolled. I have another spreadsheet here. This spreadsheet maybe requires like a little bit of explaining. And by the way, if these are tiny and like kind of difficult to look at, I'll put these in the description. So basically, I'm just going to explain what this spreadsheet is really fast because it looks kind of noisy. So basically, you can ignore this ID tab here. These are obviously the courses required to graduate from the program, the BSNIT general courses. The ones in green are just the general courses, not necessarily related to IT, but just kind of general college courses. And if you bring like a, an associate or something, there's a good chance that most, if not all of these will be satisfied, but the green are the generals and the yellow. These are these are like the core IT courses that are shared with all of the IT degrees, essentially. So if you go to this, you can kind of expect all of these different degrees to have the same core courses. So that's what these are. And then finally, in red, these are the courses like that are really specific to this particular degree. So that is these are the courses that are specific to the IT general degree. And there, there for sure, like is some overlap, obviously, because like a lot of the IT degrees have A plus network plus security plus and like Linux and, and stuff like this. So there is some overlap, but this kind of a uh, specialized course, this kind of uh, a red section is it's supposed to be specific to the general degree. And generally speaking, um, the courses in green are tip typically for the most part easier than the courses in yellow and the courses in yellow are for the most part easier than the courses in red and as you can see like most of the third party certs like this certificate certificate column most of the third party certs live in this kind of specialized red section so you can kind of assume that these courses are going to be slightly more difficult it makes sense that itil is up here because itil is not that difficult relative to other third party certificates and then this column here this is the study.com transfer column so this is getting into like what I think you might consider doing before enrolling in the degree. So I made a video that talks about this in depth right here. So check that out if you're interested in this. But basically, these are the courses that you can take from study.com. Basically, you go to study.com, sign up and then take this particular course. And then once you complete this course, it can transfer into WGU and then satisfy this WGU course. So for example, if you went through and you like took all of these study.com courses before registering at WGU. So for example, you just went through and like took all of these, it would look something like this. And then when you finally transferred it into WGU, you would only have these classes left to complete, like once you actually started inside of WGU. And this is, you know, only 14 classes. And I did something similar to this um, for my IT degree and for my computer science degree. I didn't do quite this many, but I did complete a bunch of stuff like outside, like a bunch of certs and a few things from study.com. But it kind of helps kind of expedite the graduation process or like helps you finish WGU faster. Like once you actually get enrolled, you can you can finish quicker and then potentially pay for less terms, if that makes sense. So say you completed a lot of courses outside of WGU at study.com. So instead of like going into WGU having to complete like 36 courses, you did all the w did all the study.com courses, maybe you spent like, you know, $1,500 or like $1,000 on study.com. And then you only had these like 14 courses left from WGU. Maybe this only takes you like two terms to graduate, like instead of four. So potentially you'll you'll save like, you know, potentially like $6,500 dollars it just kind of depends on your situation it's just something I, I might recommend doing again I made a whole video kind of talking about the transfer process
process with study.com and like dealing with the enrollment counselor and like what your transcript evaluation looks like and how to go about doing that. I did, I made all of that in this like nice video. So just check that out if you feel like it. I also have a, a discount code for study.com. You can save 30% on your first three months and you probably don't really need longer than three months to be honest. And I'm, of course that depends on like how much work you're doing but or how fast you're going, but yeah. And then lastly, this Indeed Cert Job Hits column. Basically with WGU, there's a lot of classes that require you to pass a third party like industry certification to pass a class. And then when you pass it, of course you will get like, you know, CompTIA A plus or network plus or security plus or like whatever the cert is. And basically what I did here is I just, I just searched on Indeed, for example, for like CompTIA A plus, and then just recorded like how many job hits I found for the whole country. So for example, if we go to Indeed and let's see, I'll search for, uh, I'll, I'll do CompTIA A plus. So I'm just going to say anywhere and then I'll say CompTIA A plus and I'll search this and then CompTIA A plus anywhere. There's a total now there's a total of 5,574 jobs. It's even more than it was when I originally made this. So basically that's all that's all this is CompTIA Security plus CompTIA Network plus. It just kind of gives you an idea of how marketable or how well known these certs are. So you can make certain decisions like for example, you have the option of taking like LPI Linux essentials and getting like a cert certificate for this particular WGU class. But if you don't feel like getting the certificate, like if you don't think it's marketable enough or whatever, you can just take this course from study.com and then transfer it in before you enroll and then you'll get credit for that class. And I would say like this is this course from study.com is probably easier from this. Same thing with like uh, Project Plus. This Project Plus is like notoriously like really boring and you can see it doesn't it doesn't really have that many hits on Indeed. So for example, uh, Project Plus has 52 hits. So you might say like you might be like, uh, maybe like I don't necessarily need to go go through the pain of getting Project Plus, I would prefer to like take business three level from study.com and transfer it into WGU, potentially saving yourself a lot of time and, and heartache. Um, Cause I have this cert and it was like quite boring for me not to like talk smack about it or anything. That's what the cert certificate column for is for on this e, this indeed job cert hits is for. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Just a reminder, I have a video that totally like talks about study.com and like WGU in depth. And I have kind of all these other videos where I do like little reviews about the different degrees and talk about them in some depth. So check those out if you feel like it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this far. Really appreciate it. If you have any comments or advice for other users or you just want to give me some criticism, you know, feel free to leave a comment. I read and respond to like everybody's comments. So don't hold back. I also have a Patreon if you feel like supporting me. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate you watching. But yeah, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.